Yesterday was probably one of Lumion Legacy's worst days ever. You know, worst for the community, worst day ever for the developers. It was terrible, all right? Now, ever since, you know, obviously the delay, there was a ton of stuff that went down, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about that, as well as some compensation for what went on today. Let's get into it. Alright, so yesterday started out with a lot of people waking up, obviously getting hyped for Atlantean City Part 2 to come out. This is the most anticipated update Lumion Legacy has ever done, just because of the fact that it has been delayed for 2.5 years. Over two and a half years of delays, almost, I think, with this one now being nine delays in total, which, again, is absolutely absurd. So, again, people woke up today, and myself included, you know, I actually, I had a little bit of hype within me, you know, which is very surprising because I was the type of person that said, you know, I just, I can't wait for the update to get done and over with because, honestly, at this point, I just want to move on. All right, but I woke up today and I was super excited and then came the delay and when I say that I have never seen a community outrage like this in my entire like over four years playing Lumion Legacy all right I, I have never seen it this bad there are people who you know I have seen support Lumion Legacy from the start never said a bad thing about Lumion Legacy completely turned their backs on the game today just because of what they did because I think it was a common notion that, you know, oh, no way Lumion Legacy, you know, doesn't follow through on this promise again. Or, you know, no way. Lumion Legacy, you know, there's no way it can get worse than this. You know, simply no way. But, obviously, everybody was super, super upset. To the point where the Discord was being flooded. And they had to eventually shut down all of the channels, all of the VCs, and really put everything on lockdown. But what happened next made everybody even more upset. Because with the entire server on lockdown and nobody able to type in any of the channels, he put into the Discord and said, Since y'all clearly know how to develop a game better than I do, let me know when yours comes out. I'm waiting. A response that was super unnecessary. There were people who were saying that, you know, they should just drop the game today, even with all of the bugs and all of that stuff. And I do disagree in that sense. I don't think that they should have dropped the update, obviously, today with all of the bugs and with all this stuff. If, you know, if it was unprecedented amount of bugs, again, they shouldn't have dropped that. However, what they shouldn't have done is lied. Because what I heard from one of the Lumion Legacy developers is that they actually knew about these bugs all week. And in my opinion, the smartest thing that they should have done is simply just said that, hey, we're not confident releasing it this weekend. And I think the community outrage would be a lot less. Do I think that there would be people still upset, obviously, that another delay happened? Of course. But to delay an update like this after two and a half years of waiting on the update release day, almost five hours before it's scheduled to release, is not a good look. And do I agree with some of the people that went out and started harassing some of the Lumion Legacy developers, despite some of them not even having to do anything with it? No, of course not. But Lumion Legacy really just fumbled today. They really, really fumbled today. And it's honestly super upsetting because, again, this was one of the days that everybody was supposed to be hyped for. This was a week that, you know, again, despite everything that's gone on with all the delays, I actually saw a lot of people in the Lumion Legacy community finally happy that this update is going to be coming out. Now their hopes are completely lost. And it kind of goes into a thing about how much can we actually trust Llama Train Studios, right? Because with all of this stuff that I've previously mentioned and obviously all the delays and stuff, who is to say that their next updates, you know, whatever they say about that is gonna even happen this you know update and yesterday was just very very disappointing and honestly again i really don't know how they're going to approach you know things moving forward we have heard from t Bradham that there is going to be some sort of compensation for obviously the extra couple days of waiting but realistically you know what could be the compensation you know what i mean like you know, some people have speculated that they're going to do a giveaway, but I feel like that would be kind of weird. Some other people think that they're going to drop an event 
on Saturday, and that's why they're updating on Thursday, which I also think would be extremely weird. So, again, we don't really know what this entire compensation thing is, and, you know, once we actually get that information, I will be sure, obviously, to update you guys on that. But, again, as it stands right now, the community is understandably very, very upset. Like, I mean, the initial reaction to the actual tweet itself, you can go on and read some of these replies. Like, it is insane. Cleon said, man, I canceled my plans for this update to wake up to this. That just ruined my day. Thanks for telling us about this hours prior to the release date. But man, y'all should have said this a few days ago, which, again, is true. Kirby Popstar said, you guys just fumbled. Atlantean is going to perform way worse now because nobody is actually going to believe it's coming out in November. At this point, I'd rather just play the unpolished Atlantean. I'm sick of waiting for this stupid update and again like i said earlier i don't agree in the sense of putting out the update if the bugs are that game breaking obviously but he is right atlantean city is not going to have as many players as it probably would have had yesterday again they're also updating it on a thursday a day where people have school and they're gonna go to bed early because the next day is a school day so again why they're doing all this stuff i it, it really just blows my mind and I think, realistically, that is perfectly acceptable. You know, it's perfectly acceptable if you want to, you know, continue supporting Lumion Legacy. And it's perfectly acceptable if you do not want to continue supporting Lumion Legacy. And people should be allowed to be disappointed for this. I don't think, you know, people going out here and saying, Oh, you know, you're, you guys are just a bunch of crybabies and, you know, how, how can you say this stuff? Again, I think people are well within their own right to be upset after waiting two and a half years for this. I know a ton of people who took off work, who moved things around in their schedules to actually be able to play this update today. Now, is that their own fault? Sure. But you can also look at it in the sense of the fact that these people are devoted enough to Lumion Legacy to actually do these types of things. That is something that you really can't find within other communities. And it's honestly sad that a lot of these people's trust has been broken. And it's like, you know, it's crazy because there's a lot of people who aren't even in the Lumion Legacy community that are actually, you know, getting wind of this now and are completely shocked that something like this is even happening. And it was very interesting just to see go down on Twitter today. Again, a lot of these people who are, you know, they're in the Roblox Twitter community, but not the Lumion Legacy Twitter community, voice their opinions about this update was something I definitely was not expecting to see yesterday. To close off this video, you know, again, I'm, I'm going to reiterate what I said, but you know, whether you call them liars, whether you say that they're untruthful, whatever word that you used, whatever happened yesterday, all right, just should not have happened, all right? They should have confronted this issue a few days prior, especially with the knowledge that, you know, they weren't confident that this update was going to be coming out. They, they, they simply should have just put something out about that. And they should not have waited until the day of the update to actually say something. And I, and I think that's where a lot of the community outrage actually comes from. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm definitely curious to hear your guys' thoughts about this down in the comments below. Very, very interesting day. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.